Topless presents Five Women You Better Not Make Angry. Number five, Lorena Bobbitt. In the early 90s, a young couple from Virginia was involved in a story that many people will never forget. If you haven't heard the name Lorena Bobbitt, then chances are you've at least heard her story. On June 23rd, 1993, Loretta's husband John came home drunk one night and proceeded to rape her. Afterwards, she went down to the kitchen for a drink of water, grabbed a knife, went back upstairs and cut off his wiener. Then, she got into the car and started driving. Somewhere along the dark highway, she rolled down the window and threw his penis onto the side of the road. Don't worry. Police found it later and John had it surgically reattached. Lorena was put to trial and acquitted in all charges due to temporary insanity. Interestingly, John later went on to be arrested no less than seven times for charges including that of domestic battery. Number 4. Monica Lewinsky When former US President Bill Clinton decided to end his vicious relationship with his mistress, Monica Lewinsky, could he expected that a revenge of a girl would be so terrible? Monica told the press all the details of her intimate relations in the Oval Office, the main office of the president. Lewinsky stated that between November 1995 and March 1997, she had nine sexual encounters with then-President Bill Clinton. That, according to her testimony, involving oral or other sexual acts in the Oval Office, but not sexual intercourse. Monica's revenge made her perhaps the most famous woman in the world and wealthy too. Number 3. Harriet Well, this story is somewhat different, but interesting. Meet Harriet, a girl from Cheshire who came up with the most genius plan ever to get back at her cheating ex-boyfriend. After they had broken up, Harriet's ex, Dan, asked to be paid back for his Justin Bieber ticket. Despite the fact that Dan already said he won't need the money back, Harriet agreed to pay him back, but not in the way you think. I've set up a direct debit, so you will receive one penny a day, she texted Dan. She's estimated it will take him up to 17 years to recoup that money. Harriet then shared a screenshot from her banking app, confirming she's transferred a penny to Dan, along with a reference cheating cunt. Now that's what I call some sweet, sweet revenge. Number 2. Nasra Youssef Mohammed. One of the biggest tragedies in history of Kuwait broke out for ex-wife's revenge to her husband on his new wedding day. On August 15, 2009, the woman named Nazar Youssef Mohammed poured petrol on a tent where women and children were celebrating and set it on fire. Within three minutes, the whole tent, which had only one exit, and did not meet fire safety regulations, was engulfed in flames, trapping many inside. At least 57 people were killed and about 90 others wounded. She did this to take revenge for her husband's second marriage. It was the deadliest civilian disaster in Kuwait in the last 40 years. Although she recanted a confession she had given the police after her arrest, stating in court she had only sprayed the tent with cursed water, but did not set it on fire. She was furious when she found out that her ex-husband and fiancé were not damaged in the fire. And number one, Poulin. Poulin born in India in 1963 to a low caste family. After becoming estranged from her family, she became the companion to a leader of a group of bandits. During a struggle for gang leadership, Poulin companion was killed, and she was gang raped by several men over a time of period of three weeks. After her recovery, she rallied gang members that she trusted and returned to Bamai, 
the village where she had been raped to seek revenge. 22 upper caste men were lined up and shot dead, including two that had been involved in her rape. After serving 11 years in jail, she managed to get herself elected to parliament, but was killed in 2001 as an act of vengeance for her earlier murders. The 1994 Bollywood film Bandit Queen is based on her life. 